is, don't you? Of course I do. Three three six. That's the game, baby. For the sun, got it going high. I ain't tripping for the fun. Yeah, I won't start. I ain't tripping. I'm a stun. Oh. You know what's crazy? The absolute smallest thing can make this big machine not work properly. I've said it once, I've said it twice, I'll say it again and probably many, many, many more times to come is a uh, big thanks to Kevin Bird down at PATV Power Sports in Texas. This man can fix literally anything 16 hours away over the phone. He has so much knowledge when it comes to these Can-Ams. Not only just him, but Brent Ritchie and a few other guys that I've actually reached out to whenever I had a little bit of issues on last episode when we was racing with King of the Deep. And now that we've learned a few tricks of the trade, uh, I think we might be okay this time. Last video I said we're pretty dialed in. Now, I think we're dialed in now, but this time I feel a little bit better about it. We actually went down the road here to a good family member, Brian Downing. We big shot to this guy for letting us use some of his pastures, some of his land to uh, do some test hits with it. She turned out to uh, be fixed now. Everything, the four-wheel drive, the nitrous, and you wouldn't believe just a little bitty, bitty. I'm talking about tiny of the smallest things that could happen to make that machine right there not properly work right like it should have at King of the Deep. Now there's been so much suspense on my end, like there's been tons of just suspense building up inside of me, like wanting to see what this bike feels like whenever it hits that shot of nitrous. And finally, finally, after several attempts of making this happen, the nitrous finally kicked in and worked. It's just like any other racing guys. I mean, you spend one Saturday racing and even if everything goes well, works right, you win, you lose, either way and everything works good, you still come back to the shop, to the drawing board and you continue to work on this thing nonstop. If you don't massage this bike throughout the weeks to come, it's not gonna run right for your next race. You, you wanna keep tinkering, you wanna keep messing with stuff, even though it sounds like, why would you wanna just keep on keeping on with the fuller if everything's perfect? Well, I don't want flaws again. I don't wanna look like, you know, wow, this guy don't know what he's doing. I see all the comments, they think that we didn't know what we were doing on our last race. Yes, we finished third out of 12, but it wasn't how I wanted to finish. I wanted to skim right across like Mr. Barnes did. I, I mean, I wanted to show out with this bike. This bike is built with nothing but the best parts that money can buy. With not only the bike itself, but the team that's backing this thing, like, you know, Jay Money, Tucker, Speedy, Daryl, myself, KK1K, everybody that's helping out with this bike, we have no excuses why we can't make it happen to get up there on top. So, I'm not sure what's going on, but the gauge ain't working now. We had it working at Deep Creek. We had it where it said 950 around that area. Now it's just stuck on 900. I've been on the phone with Kevin and Brent down at PATV. We're just trying, it's trial and error, trial and error. So uh, we keep cracking the line, making sure there's something in the bottle. A lot of people think it might be, but the bottle's empty. So we took the bottle off, sprayed it. I mean, it was frosty. I mean, it looked like it was snowing out here, but uh, we'll just do some trial and error. We're gonna do a first pull right here. Let's see how it goes. I don't know, I don't know what to expect. It wouldn't work at Deep Creek, so who knows what's gonna happen.
Yeah. <laughs> There it is. Hey. There it is. All that weight and suspense is over. I finally know what it's like now to spray a bike. It come unglued. Hey, I'm gonna tell you something. I don't know if it looks like it on camera or not, but when I hit it, you can feel it, you feel it pick up oh, the whole yeah. bike. You can see it. I think she's ready now. Switch is right. That's right. Button's right. Gauge is working gauge again. Gauge is working again. <laughs> Tapped it with a wrench. Thank you, Bruce Klein. Thank you for giving me that uh, little bit of advice to tap the gauge. I didn't think about that. I thought the gauge was brand new. I didn't need to. But now let's just go fill the bottle up and let's get ready for uh, the big race at Busco. <laughs> now that we've got a little bit more comfortable on the bike, got a little bit of seat time in, a little bit. I'm talking about three or four passes as you've seen. I feel a little bit better about the bike. I feel a little bit comfortable on it. I feel like I need to work, work on my throttle to button ratio, kind of like the timing. I've got a lot to work on. It's my second race ever, guys. It's not. I'm not gonna be a professional as soon as I walk out there. I mean, you gotta, I have a natural ability of riding forward myself, but I don't have the seat time that I really need. Put a lot of hard work and time into this thing, getting it back where it needs to be. We know we got the bike to do it. One of our biggest goals around here at the Mafia headquarters is to uh, find the biggest cabinet we can and fill it plumb to the top, front and back, full of hardware, trophies, plaques, anything you can think of. Am I still nervous? That would be 110% yes. That's a, a most definite. Like when I was hunting, when I was younger, my dad would always tell me, if you lose that high, that like butterfly in your stomach feeling, like that nervous feeling when you go to shoot that deer or whatever you're hunting for, you shouldn't be hunting. I've got my fingers crossed that uh, everything holds up. <laughs> everything goes as planned. Well, I think it's that time, guys. We've got everything loaded up. 24 karat, the North Star, the Defender, most of our tools, our helmets, fluids, anything you can possibly think of that we might think we might need or we're actually gonna need. We kinda overpacked for this event, guys, because you never know what you're gonna have to use and what you're not gonna use, but it's always good to bring more than enough. But we got a really early, early, early morning ahead of us, so I guess the last thing there is to do, guys, is go ahead and get in the bed, catch a few hours of sleep, and, uh. Let's head to Busco Beach in the morning. We've done through sign-ups, we've done through all this stuff. We're watching some of the races, and let me go ahead and tell you these holes 
or nasty. <laughs> The competition is even freaking better. Four carrots up. Let's suit up. Let's go get some freaking amazing shots and let's see if this bike can perform like we want it to. The freaking spray worked. As you see on the video, it came up out of water. Now that first initial takeoff, guys, I did hit spray. I was in high. When I hit it, it just submarined. It went straight underwater. We're gonna make a few adjustments to 24 karat to maybe try to bring that front end back up on top of the water. But as you've seen, I switched it to low, Tucker. Went across the top of that little hill, sprayed it both at the same time, and she turned the wheels all the way across the deck of hole. If I can just get me a pretty flat entrance to that first bit, I think we can keep it on top of the water and uh, maybe skim the whole hole, but that was a lot faster than our first race at King of the Deep. We got nitrous, we got four-wheel drive. Let's get ready for our second run. Our second pass looked 10 times better. I mean, did it not, Tucker? Yeah. I mean, it felt a lot better at least. Uh, I got to learn, I got to work on button to throttle or throttle to button ratio. I need to learn my timing. We're still learning air pressures and stuff like that. It's a lot. It's a lot harder than it looks just jumping on a board and going across this water. Like, oh, that ain't that hard. But I do know this, King of the Deep, last episode of us racing was like a three minute pass. The whole three minutes. Our first pass here, was 44.21 seconds. We're already a minute and a half faster almost. Give or take, a little bit different hold, different setup, you know, different tires, you know, air pressure on the tires. But we don't know our second run yet. Our second run felt a lot better than our first run. So we're gonna wait around until they get done with the races and then we'll come back, get our second run time and see where we place that. But for now, we got about a half a bottle of nitrous. We're going over here to the pond and we're gonna practice skimming a little bit. Let's take 24 out here to the pond. We're gonna practice trying to get used to that button and let's go skim some, uh, some water holes, baby. 
Guys, we are out here at the pond now. We just adjusted all the tire pressures. We're heating the bottle up, trying to get the pressures right on the bottle. Let's go give 24K a few practice runs. No competition. We're just going to go out and practice a little bit. Ethan Barnes is out here. A few of the other small tire racer guys that's really quicker out here. Let's go try some stuff out. Let's get a little bit quicker with that throttle to uh, button ratio. Just give us some seat time. the shop and 24k is all intact nothing is broken on it nothing's broken on the side by sides of course but 24k done exceptionally well if it probably would have done a little bit better if the rider had a little bit more seat time in practice you know talk about myself but look at it this way guys king of the deep we had a three minute run our first pass today at southern bounty series was 44 seconds and some odd change and then our second run landed us fourth place out of 14 riders here's the chart right here in front of us i'm gonna pop up on the screen you guys can check it out. We are fourth place out of 14 riders at Southern Bounty Series Busco Beach. For our second race ever, our first time ever spraying nitrous in a hole, cause you know, King of the Deep, it wouldn't work. Super stoked about that. Wish we could do a little bit better. Let me get a little bit more seat time underneath this guys. And uh, we'll be on our way. Big shout out and thanks to Kevin Murray, Brian Fulcher, Brent Ritchie, Kevin Bird, Bruce Klein, the list goes on and on. Team 380, a lot of you guys that would give us advice and, and you know pitch in and help us here and there. We were running low on staff today, guys. We had Tucker and a guy named Jordan that's been hanging out with us. They were helping us today. Jay Money did not unfortunately get to make it. He's been in the hospital, guys. Everybody tell Jay Money in the comments to get better. We got another race coming up immediately right after this one. We got next weekend we're gonna be rolling again for another race. We gotta go ahead and change the oil, service 24k, get everything back going like it should be. All fresh fluids, fresh filters, you name it and be at the track this coming Saturday at the Rec Yard. Another big shout out to all our fans that come up to us and talk to us, got some pictures, some autographs, some stickers and koozies. We really appreciate you guys. It means a lot to us for watching these videos, supporting us, leaving likes and comments, make sure you're subscribing guys. If you like these style videos, like I've always asked guys with this racing, how we're doing the montage stuff, the cinematic movie type stuff, let us know down in the comments. We'll keep these coming for you guys. And as always, we'll catch y'all on the next one.